Memories. That's merchandiseandmemories.com. And we've got another edition of Bulldogs Unboxings. And as you can see here, we have got another Ultimate Edition review. As I've said before, 2023 is the year of the Ultimates for us. Uh, hoping to have probably about 30 Ultimate Edition figures in my collection by the end of this year. And this is one of them I've, I've had in uh, just in storage for a little while. It's the Big Red Machine Kane, the Ultimate Edition of it. And just before we get into the figure, just look at the box art here. Great uh, illustration of Kane. And then of course, on the back here, you've got him uh, raising his arms and then a picture of of a really old school cane. It says, who had the most impactful debut in WWE history? It's gotta be, it's gotta be Kane. The big red machine rose from the ashes to exact revenge on the man who left him burned and forgotten, his brother Undertaker. Kane ripped off the cage door and burned a hole through the dead man's soul. And uh, very poetic uh, box art and, and text here. And this is really very early Kane, like, you know, first year of Kane and the way, you know, some of the features here may even be earlier than that. Um, so let's, let's see what we got in the box. So here we see just out of the box, these are the, or just out of the, the case, here are the different pieces that come with the Ultimate Edition Kane. And we're gonna review them one by one as we always do. We'll start with the, the figure here. Let's start with the figure itself. Um, this is this is honestly a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's it's taller than I figured it would be. I know on the the back of the package it said he was seven feet, and this feels like somebody who'd be almost seven feet tall, just compared to some of the other uh, Mattel figures. Very good detail on here, the, the red and black design that was so syno synonymous with Kane's debut. Um, just, you know, very simple, but but perfect. And just love that the color really pops here. Love the uh, the little studs around his, his uh, armbands here on both sides. And he's got the one glove, as he did. Uh, and the mask, like this is, I don't know, with a lot of Kane figures I've seen, it's been very hard capture the mask because it just is an unusual face skin but I feel like they really did nail it here and this is one of the first times I you know I can say that about a Kane figure I have a, a couple of Kane um, Mattel figures and none of them really did it justice this this just feels I don't know a little less human and a little more masky if that that makes any sense and of course just because this is uh, an ultimate edition figure you've got you know, way more articulation than you might with a, a typical elite or certainly a basic figure uh, in terms of the articulation on his toes, his knees, he can do the splits, uh, he can move his shoulders sort of back and forth here so he can do all kinds of things with Kane. Uh, in addition though, he does come with a, a second head as we saw earlier. And this particular head, the hair is tied back slightly so it's not as it doesn't sort of cascade to his shoulders the exact same way so let's let's try that let's do a little switcheroo here let's pull the cane head off we can see his stump which is is uh, the next stump is painted black i'm going to pop this on and see what happens with this second head i don't know how to describe it other than it feels a little bit more like Glenn Jacobs, and I don't know why I'm saying that. Maybe it's the chin strap and the ears, uh, whereas the other mask has a bit more face coverage. I don't know if that makes sense, if I'm just making this stuff up as I go along, but this one just feels more like the person behind Kane. Uh, it just gives him a bit of a different look. I think, just out of the, the two, I prefer the first, the Kane that it comes posed with right here. Just more vintage cane with the, the, the longer hair going over the, the ears and, and what have you. Uh, in addition, the figure comes with a, well, WWE, but really a WWF, the Winged, Winged Eagle Championship that Kane would have held for one day when he defeated Stone Cold Steve Austin in the, uh, the first blood match back at, I believe it was King of the Ring. And then he's also got 
two open hands and the gloved open hand and the non-gloved open hand. So if you do want to do the, the fire and brimstone, you know, you can do that. And uh, and there you go. So that's uh, that's an option, certainly, when you're, when you're posing your can. He also comes with a really tiny, I don't know, I want to say it's a voice changer, but that's not, that's probably not what it's called. Um, the, the voice modulator, I'm just trying to fit it in his hand right here. And not having a ton of luck right now. But let's just assume you could fit it in his hand. And this is the thing he'd, he'd point to his neck and say, suck it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that was absolutely necessary, but sometimes when you get the ultimate editions, you get a few little bonuses here and there and you can, you can take it or leave it, I guess. Um, and then the piece de resistance is something that Kane actually never wore. Um, only in, I think, a dark match appearance, his, his cape. And we've seen a few photos of that, so it's kind of neat. Um, just as, as a bonus, and I'm just gonna try and put the, I'm gonna twist the cane head off once again, so that you can fit the cape on. And it turns out I totally did not need to do that. I'm gonna slip this on without, without that. Um, wow. So you look at it here, it, it does give, I've got a messed up here. But it gives Kane, you know, this completely different sort of super villain look. Um, because Kane never actually wore this and, you know, in WWE canon other than that one house show appearance, I'm not sure I would, you know, include this in the way that I display him. But it's a, it's a neat option to have. Plus, you know, who knows, maybe there's another wrestler, you know, in your your figure collection that could use a cape. I don't know. But but overall, I really, really like this figure. Um, as it, It's better than other canes that I've, they've had before by far. It uh, just sort of looks menacing. I like the, the optionality for the, the heads. And uh, the, like I said, the cape is just a nice little bonus for uh, really big cane fans. Um, but this is, this is a great addition to the Ultimate Edition uh, collection that I'm building. And the fire still burns for this one. For Canadian Bulldog, sorry, for Bulldogs Unboxings, I'm Canadian Bulldog.